Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, John D. Miller, the four-time national champion, the super genius, and the MMA expert, and we have UFC 214 tonight. Woo-wee! This is gonna be really crazy. Okay, I got a prediction here for you. Okay, Cormier versus Jones too. This is, I mean, I see a lot of people out there picking Jones and I get it, I totally get it. I mean, you know, you know people are saying he's essentially undefeated and, and you know, he, he, he beat Cormier last time and, and blah, 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 and Cormier's, and listen, this is a very interesting fight. I don't fault anyone for being on either side of this. I really don't. I get it. I get what all that's about. But here's where I'm coming down on it. It's very tough. Um, again, no disrespect for anybody making a prediction on this one because you know you can be wrong, you can be right. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough, tough fight to call. I'm coming down on Cormier. I, I'm going to pick uh, uh, Cormier to win this. Here's why I think DC has the edge. I think DC has the edge because, yes, John Jones is a physical tool. Yes, he's tall, strike, he can neutralize Russell, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? John Jones has been away from the ring for a while. And ring rust, you know, at, at, at that level, I think can have a definite impact, no doubt about it. The other thing is, that, you know, I mean, weren't we in a situation where, where Jones, was, they were going to fight and it did happen and all this, you know, on again and off again. The point I'm trying to make in my personal opinion, first of all, my personal opinion, only knowledge and facts, and I can't say it's all for entertainment purposes only. Please check the disclaimers. But here's what, I, here's what I'm trying to say. Fighting is physical, but fighting is also very mental. Can somebody tell me with 100% confidence, eh, maybe someone can, maybe someone in Jones's camp, whatever like that, but can someone tell me with 100% confidence that they know that Jones is 100% focused on this fight. That they know exactly what Jones is going to do. Because in my opinion, over the last three or five years, you know, Jones has done stuff that didn't make any sense to me. You know, so now I get it. Hey, JDV, whatever. He still wants his fight. So I, 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 I hear you. I get it. I get it. But Cormier looks very focused to me. You get me? Cormier looks very, very focused. I think Cormier really wants to win this fight. And I think if you look at the two previous fights, there may be some something to see there. How good was, was Jones versus OSP? Not super inspiring to me. Didn't look like a world beater to me. Okay, great. How good did DC look against Anthony Rumble Johnson, who was very scary before he hit before he got to DC? Who hit DC with a huge leg kick? I mean, DC looked great. Okay, DC took that took that head kick, and DC just embarrassed him in the wrestling. What I'm saying is, DC's focused. He's ready. He's sharp. He's in shape. I'm saying that he really, really wants this win. Again, I go back to, can anyone tell me what Jones really, 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 really wants long term? I don't even know exactly you know, of all the obvious things, you're getting back of the money and stuff like that. I mean, you know, you know why Jones is here. And so it's like, it's, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Amanda Nunes, right? When somebody... Backs, you know, when, when, when something happens and a fight doesn't go, when, when something happens like that, now again, different situations, different reasons. I, I, I hear you, I, got, I get it, but just follow what I'm saying right here. When something like that happens with news, or what's happened with Jones before, can you fully trust them mentally as a fighter? You get me? It, it, it's, it's, it's a different thing. I'll, I'll put it to you like this. In my opinion, if Jones is tested, if Jones is tested, right? If DC has Jones in trouble, is Jones going to fight through that like a, like a heart of a champion or is Jones going to look for a way out? We don't know. But I think we're going to find out. See, I don't question... Uh, 
DC's heart. I, I believe DC has focus and heart. I think DC really wants this win. So I get you, you, you know, that physically Jones has tremendous advantages. And that may prove to be the winning factor here. But I just think that sometimes these intangibles and they're all oh, DC's two years old. Okay, Jones is two years older too. You know, Jones is two years older too. And have we seen the best John Jones? Does he have that fire anymore? You know, it's different when you're just coming up and you're trying to make that name and trying to make that money. But when you have the money, you know, are you as motivated? So, you know, for, for example, uh, you know, look at the whole Fedor situation, you know? At some point, you know, and, and people are all oh, Fedor. Dude, I, in my opinion, I think, it, you know, Fader was probably the best heavyweight ever. He was super scary when he was at his best. But those days are done for whatever reason, you know, for whatever reason. And maybe he's physically not there anymore, or maybe he's just, you know, mentally not there anymore, or whatever. So, I think that the combination of, and also let's, let's say this, Cormier's better. Striking's better, there's a lot of things that are better. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, I absolutely could be wrong. We could see a replay of the, of, of, of the first fight, or Jones winning in a more decisive fashion. But I, I don't think DC is going to make the same mistakes that he made in the first fight. I think that he's going to be ready. I think he's focused. I think he's primed. I think he did really good against Johnson. And I think that we're going to see that, that, that uh, Jones has slipped. I don't think Jones is ever going to be the fighter that he was. I could be wrong, but if I have to make a prediction, which I am, that's where I'm at. So we'll see. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting fight. You let me know what you think about that. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it on your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super genius and the MMA expert. You're watching Conservative Media. I'll see you next time.